Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table we're going to be looking at the Phantom 3, particularly um, at some of the more advanced settings that you can tweak within the Pilot app. Previously these were things that you could tweak in the Phantom 2 line, but you needed to be plugged into your laptop, um, make the setting, go and test it, come back in, plug it, which was quite frankly a bit of a pain. Now with the P3 and the Inspire 1 that use the same app, we can change some of these particular settings on the fly, which is excellent. So we're going to be talking in particular today about gains and expo, as I've been having lots of questions about what they mean and is there a difference and, and what does it do. So before we go any further though, it's the kitchen table and tradition dictates we must have a beverage when discussing our drones. It's, um, it's quite late this evening, so I feel like something... Uh, mellow so i am enjoying this very excellent southwestern australian cabernet sauvignon shiraz blend called the bandit which is excellently named so um <clears throat> cheers mm. wow that's just full of blackcurrant fruit that's fantastic right so gains and expo let's um talk briefly about gains first i did a video quite some time ago based on the p2 um, about gains and what they mean and I'll I'll link to it somewhere on the screen here so basically what gains do is they affect the the responsiveness of the aircraft to changes in the environment now in the p2 line you had you had two uh, gain types you had the basic gain and the attitude gain in the p3 line on the on the app here you can only adjust the basic gains and the basic gains are ba uh, uh, refer to how the aircraft reacts when it's in automatic, it's hovering by itself, it's holding station, it's holding height, and say a gust of wind comes along or you try and grab it, or something strange happens. How quickly, how crisply will it respond to those changes to get it back to where it needs to be? Obviously a very low gain setting creates a very relaxed response and you can get a kind of a spongy kind of feel, which is not ideal. But in some circumstances, you might want it to be a bit softer. Um, if you set a very high gain setting, you get a very tight instant reaction almost, sometimes too quick. And of course, if it overreacts and then tries to go the other way really quick, you can get kind of oscillations and all sorts of nonsense happening. So, you know, adjust the gains with, with care. There, there may be circumstances where you want to, um, well, you do want to have a look at that, and we'll we'll talk about that in a moment. But that's gains, really. It's it's how the aircraft responds to external inputs. So what's Expo? Expo is short for exponential, and it basically refers to a uh, a curve on a graph. And it's and it's how I'm going to show it to you in a minute because it's probably easier than explaining. But basically, it it refers to how the sticks how the uh, action on, on the sticks is transmitted to, to the aircraft. So you can build in a very sensitive area in the middle, or you can build in a very loose area. Um, and one of the things I think it's particularly useful for is getting very smooth yawing control, which is obviously the left stick, because on the Phantom 2 and on other Phantoms, it's quite sharp. It's very difficult to set up a very slow panning shot because uh, on, you know it was a one for one. If I if I move this a little, uh, you know, ten percent, I got ten percent yaw, which is quite fast. On the um, uh, by changing the expo, I can have, I can I can say well a ten percent throw on this stick is only equivalent to a two percent move on the aircraft, and therefore for those of us with clumsy thumbs can get a a better better smoother pan. But anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go and have a close up of the app and see how it works in practice. So here we are looking at the, um, the main screen of the app. The um, aircraft is on, obviously. Um, props off, because we're indoors. Um, and let's have a look at how we get into the settings. If we go up here and press the mode buttons at the moment, it's, it's in P Opti, because again, no sats and it's indoors. Uh, we've got here gain and expo tuning. Now we'll look at the gains first, which are over here, um, which are how the aircraft responds with its automatics to shifts in what's going on. Uh, and you've got pitch, roll yaw, and the vertical. So the only time I think you personally, by all means experiment, they're all set to 100 by default. 
So you can have a look at that, but be very careful, make very small increments. The only thing I suggest, based on my experience with it, that may even remotely want to be looked at might be the vertical. I find that sometimes it's a little bit sharp in the vertical response and it's actually moving. You can actually see some, some little uh, movements as it, as it kind of tries to keep itself in a very tight vertical hold. Um, I might think about relaxing that by 10% and just let it chill out a little bit and not get so obsessed with keeping such accurate height. But uh, really, I don't want to say too much more about that. I, I personally feel that these settings are absolutely fine out the box. So we'll, uh, we'll go back. So here are our Expo settings. And you've got two graphs with curves on basically for throttle, rudder and forward backwards left and right so basically just the right stick and as I move as I move the sticks I don't know if you can see look we've got going up and down here and left and right on that side and as I move this side we've got throttle and there's look there's the rudder okay and you've got curves now my throttle is set to 50 which is a straight line which means basically for every you one unit I move the throttle up the aircraft will respond in this at the same rate so a hundred percent um, throttle the aircraft will go to 100% and that's a straight line so it means that no matter even you know a, a tiny increment here the same amount of control and the same up and down that's how that's working there now if we look at the the yaw control I've got it set to the minimum 0.3 and what you can see is the curve is very flat it's like an exponential curve hence expo it's very flat here which means that if I make a very small movement on the stick can you see there's, there's movement happening on the stick, but there's not a lot happening on the aircraft side of things until I get to here. And then there's a very small movement and then the movement gets more and more abrupt and then we get a full movement. So we're softening that, that there. If I do things the way and go up to the other, we get the opposite, a tiny movement here. Look, makes for a big movement of the aircraft initially, and then it flattens out. Now, obviously to change those, we just drag the curve, which is quite good, or you can tap in whatever you want to do. So the main benefit I think is that if you are, if you have a very sharp rudder response and you want to do a very slow uh, pan, that can be very difficult. The, the rudder is, is fairly responsive. With this, you can dial it right down and get a very, I mean, it means that you can be quite quite wiggly with the sticks quite close into the axis and, and you won't get much response from the aircraft. So it means you can actually hold a very slow pan with a relatively large movement of the stick. That to me is something that you may want to look at changing um, and having a play with. Let's go out into the back garden now and have a quick demonstration. We can show you what it looks like um, performing uh, uh, trying to keep the same rate of stick input with these two different extremes and we can have a look. So here we are, we're hovering in the garden and we've got a nice steady hover. What I'm going to do is this is set down to the lowest expo at 0.3. Um, and in a second I'm going to bring up the control so you can see what I'm doing and I, I'm just going to move my thumb just a small amount you can see on the controls now and look how slowly I can now pirouette. And you know, I'm holding it in one hand, so my thumb is moving around very slow. Now let's change it right to the other extreme, 70 degrees. I'm gonna go the other direction, but try and move it the same amount of throw, and we off we go, round and round and round. So you can see that's gonna be quite tricky to get a smooth pan. So there we go. Hopefully you can see from that demonstration out the back that, that it makes a vast difference. And um, I've certainly, uh, I certainly feel that down at 30, it's probably even too, too soft and gentle. Um, I'm someone who likes to sort of fly quite actively, really. I quite like, I quite enjoy uh, zooming around and performing some, some coordinated turns, banking the aircraft and using yaw and so on and so forth. So for me to take that down too far wouldn't be a good thing to have as a permanent setting. But what I really like about the app and the way you can control live, it means that you know, if I want to take it and hoon it around, I can simply, with a couple of presses, put a number in that I know is good for me flying, probably 50 or 55 even. Um, but then if I'm suddenly coming up to a, sh to, a, to, a, to a shot and I think, wow, this would make a beautiful slow pan, quickly go into the settings, knock it down to 30, perform that pan and change it. That, to me, is really positive um, step up in the ability to, to tweak the aircraft to, to between being a really 
excellent camera platform and being something that it's more fun to fly. So there we go, that was just a, a quick overlook at, a um, uh, brief look at gains and, and an explanation of Expo and a demonstration of what it means because that's, that's that was a lot easier than me trying to explain it and I didn't follow the temptation to draw a bit on a piece of graph paper for you so that's all good. There we are, many thanks indeed for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, a particular thanks to everyone who subscribes and especially to the channel patrons whose ongoing support means that um, we can produce uh, you know more of more of the videos that uh, that you want to see. Um, lots of interesting things coming up over the next couple of weeks, including uh, a very interesting development that's happened today. Channel patrons know all about that, as I've um, I've updated the Patreon activity stream with um, some interesting news from today. But uh, yeah, lots to look forward to. Many thanks indeed for your time, and I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.